Well, MCPs are everywhere. Model Context Protocol. And we see a new MCP on Olama as well. In this video, we are going to check out how we can set up MCP servers on Olama and test and connect with a new client that I'm going to show you first time on this channel. It's called Goose. So this is our client and our server will be Olama MCP server. So let's get started. Now, MCP. What is an MCP? Think of this as a standard USB-C port. MCP is a standardized protocol that helps you connect between data sources on the right and you can see we have different tools and data sources and on the left we have different IDEs for example chat interfaces and other applications so it works or it stands between the client and the server if we design an MCP server which in this case uh, we are going to use Olama if we design or use an MCP client which is Goose in this example then you can have a seamless interconnection between them MCP is just a protocol it's like an API protocol but again it's different from the API because if there is any change in the API we need to integrate into our servers as well but if there is any change in the tools of the MCP then there is not much changes or any changes that we need to do on the server or on the client side so having said that let's get started the MCP server that we are going to design on Olama consists of two tools the first tool is web search and then the next tool is web fetch you can check out this video where I've introduced the web search and web fetch tools of Olama now in this video we are going to set everything up so first of all we need to have Olama installed on our local system you go to olama.com go to download here go to windows download for windows and once you get the exe uh, we can download that we go to a command prompt and in the command prompt if we say olama then we should have um, all these available commands which means olama is running here you can also go to localhost 11434 and check out that olama is running here so we go back to the cmd and uh, here what you can do is i can say olama list and this will show me the list of different models that i have now in this video we are going to use a uh, quen 2.5 latest model so you can go ahead and pull this model so for pulling this model you can say uh, olama pull quen 2.5 so this will help you pull the model and uh, keep it ready for use. So let's move ahead with designing our server or Olama server. Now for that, we need to have this Python MCP server. So this is the web search mcp.py file. Now in this file, we have defined different tools that is available. So for example, this tool is a web search. It will search for query that you put and it will give you the maximum results, which is the default three. You can change this as well. The web fetch is another tool that will, uh, when you pass in url that will give you data from the url after fetching this so we have just two tools implemented uh, on this web search mcp now what i'm going to do is download this so let me take this folder and let me download uh, the web search mcp.py file and download this and put it in that particular folder so we go to the folder and uh, we rename this properly web search mcp.py so we save this next we are going to install goose as you can see goose is an extensible open source ai agent that enhances your software development process you can go ahead and download goose so you can go ahead to windows uh, and download this zip file i've already downloaded it's on my download so you can see this one once you extract the zip file you're going to go here and inside this we have this windows and the goose exe we double click this and run this we have this application here and uh, we can go to this quen 2.5 here and you can change the model so we have selected this quen 2.5 model so you can go ahead and chat uh, go to chat here and when you do this for the first time when you install this for the first time you'll be able to see some settings and in those settings we need to make sure that we are using olama for this so you can go ahead and ask this question and check if goose is working so it's working next we need to integrate the mcp so for integration of mcp what we need to do is to go to extensions here and then add custom extensions here we can add any name let's say web search fetch example here this is standard input output you can put command of uv run and we need to point this to the python file that we have downloaded so this is the python file that we have downloaded and you can take this link and paste it here and we are going to take the name of the file as well so this is the name of the file we need to put double slash here so depe uh, in progress then we have this python file so doing this will run this mcp.py file whenever we need the those two tools that we have here within this file we have seen that we have already two tools uh, one is the web search and another is the web fetch also we need to add a variable here uh, here we need to add olama api key and the value is the olama api key we go to our olama settings 
then we're going to go to the keys here you can see that we can make api keys here so add an api key i can say youtube one and then generate an api key take this key and put it here and add so next we can add this extension so we can see that uh, we will have this extension here so successfully activated extension now what you can do is you can go back to chat now if you ask latest news on olama let's see if it's able to use let's see if this client is able to use the tools so you can see that it is able to extract or use the tools so which tool did it use uh, we can see that it used the web search of tool with max results and query max result is three the query is latest news um, on olama and you can see the results here and based on the above information here is a summary of the key releases so you can see that we have this new interesting things about olama so this is how this goose client can use the mcp servers that has been made on olama and you can see that the mcp server is running on my local system the model is running on my local system the mcp server is basically this pi file so whenever we are in requirement of running the mcp and uh, then we run this pi file so uv run this pi file and once we run this file we get the results of course we're using the api keys of olama as well those are given uh, generously but again we need to move to a paid plan if you want to do this extensively in summary what we have done is using olama we have made an mcp server and we use that mcp server we use two tools web search and web fetch and that use uh, has been done with the help of goose client and you have seen how to install goose as well it's pretty amazing you can check out this video if you want to see how you can use mcp on dockers as well but you might be thinking why this mcp term is suddenly coming to a limelight it's because it's so easy to use and with that promise of mcp we see integrations in different applications and it's really amazing it, it's better than api calls because we don't have to make any changes we just pass the llm the mcp server the llm decides goes through the list of tools decides if i need to use that particular tool there could be clashes there could be two tools doing the same thing it's up to the llm to decide so having said that if you're looking for a very good gpu you can go ahead and go to this link get.runpods.io slash pe and you can get a random credit bonus of five to five hundred dollars when you recharge for the first time with ten dollars on runpod so you can claim your bonus you can check out this next video on olama and uh, i will see you in the next one. Thank you. Cheers.